Hello and welcome to another weekly uh, market update after the market closed on 2nd November 2018. Here's where we look at the long term and the short term picture. Um, and uh, starting with the long term, S&P 500 is the benchmark index we look at. Uh, the years down the bottom, each of these pegs is a week of action up and down. And what smooths that out for us is this 40 week, like a moving average in the blue line there. So the proprietary signal was given for a bull market in 7th of November uh, 2016 and uh, just last Sunday it gave the signal to get out and go to cash so now we'll see uh, how uh, accurate that single signal is and it may be that you know it takes months for to realize that well that was actually a good call as a comparison in uh, December 2007 it went off and obviously in September 2008 October 2008 you know what happened next conversely back in uh, 2016 the signal was given, uh, so it looks like uh, end of, sort of 2015 or 16, whatever. It was the signal around here was given to get out I without looking at the actual uh, all the metrics to look at. I can't say, but I know the signal was given to get out around here, and then it didn't really go turn into a crash or a crisis. It just it just everything reset back in, as I said, November 2016. So it remains to be seen what happens uh, what happens next. The main thing is is that's designed to protect. Uh, the user from uh, any uh, anything nasty, and while it either wait we wait and see, or um, you know we get get ready for a, a new leg of the bull market. So what's particularly ominous, I think, about this one is in terms of anything. I mean, I did say last week that expect an aggressive bounce, and there it is. Uh, big bounce up this week as it attempt to get back up. Stays below the 40 week, which is now curling over significantly. Um, and you know it's got a lot of work to do uh, for it to get back on to my proprietary buy signal to get triggered again not to say it won't happen but you know this curling over is uh, is problematic for for something like that in the short term so um, what it, it's not a bull market anymore I've been saying that for two years but now I can say no it's not a bull market it's not a bear market either uh, we've kind of gone into sort of neutral mode let me wait and see uh, but you don't have to remain in, you know, doing nothing uh, for trading. But this isn't a great environment for trading stocks right now. But there are other things to trade apart from stocks. And I'm going to go over those in my uh, annual seminar uh, that you should have had details about um, by now. If not, uh, email me and I'll make sure you do know. Uh, in the UK, it's uh, December 15 and 16. Um, so there's a lot going on and you know some nice trades to make and um, some of my favorite trades to make and not not in stocks uh, so let's look at the short-term picture um, and here we see you know all the activity we saw in the week bouncing um, trying to get back above the 200 but failing um, it's it made a it was a good effort here but it had this big bounce but it was the volume was tailing off and that was really the signal where just you know this is going to run into trouble so short term the uh, trend remains um you know the outlook remains down um but you know when uh, the big picture is signaling to go to cash anyway not that any short term trades would be happening uh so that is all for this week and i'll speak to you next time